Good morning everyone! Uh, welcome to the Daily Grind. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday and today we're gonna be talking about MACD. This is one of your requests. Requested po ito uh, to be one of the episodes in the coming days, diba? So we are gonna be doing MACD episode for today. So, ayan po. Um, uh, if you have any other requests about trading, about investing, you want to talk about the next coming days and episodes of The Daily Grind, please do post it in the comments so that we can talk about it. So today, ayan, uh, I'm gonna go directly to ano, to uh, to the, what they call this, to the topic. Uh, around um, 8.35, we're gonna start the topic right away. So if you're just watching the replay of the video, please move forward to around 5 minutes. And the topic should start there. We're just gonna let the uh, audience start to kick in before we start the discussion. All right, today's gonna be a very beautiful discussion for you guys. Uh, Erickson, Lodi, Snapchat, Ani, uh, and MB. Thanks, All right? So we have requests for charting and um, pag-usapan natin to in a bit. I'm gonna write this down. Pasensya na kahapon, hindi na kapag charting kahapon because of uh, napahaba yung usapan natin kahapon. Good morning. Marim, Nestor Kino, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Magandang umaga, Grinders. Sir, ISM at RLT po. ISM has a very good signal yesterday. So, we're gonna be talking about that um, today. Alright, so, write these down. Uh, Jomar, Rubia, good morning. Air Plata, good morning, Coach Lloyd. And Miss Laika and uh, Apple. And Laika, Miss Apple pala. Alright, so, updates lang while waiting for the audience to kick in. Um, our... Um, I closed my trade yesterday, kay into it, right? So let me open my Toro trading um, portfolio. Right. So one moment, it's still loading. Uh, Nagdo-load na naman. So my portfolio is empty now. Um, uh, I closed already my position. This, uh, this, uh, my statistics haven't updated yet. So, but but most probably this is gonna be higher. So slowly, slowly, uh, I'm gonna be fixing my copy trading. Um, we're gonna have a goal every month. Pag na green na, we are gonna be stopping trading so that I can mon- manage funds. And then if gains na, I will not risk more than uh, more in that month. Yun po yung plan natin. So today we're already up 1.09%. Uh, this should be higher uh, later because we just closed our uh, we just closed our trade yesterday. Let's uh, let's look at our history. Um, yesterday, our into it, we closed it at around seven percent gains. So that's already good. So that should uh, that should help our position. Um, that should help our position, uh, our statistics for today. So into yesterday, just an update. Um, very uh, na, na uh, it went high yesterday. And then started to go red. That's why I sold it already because it's starting to, the, to do a pullback already. And it's about time uh, to take profits because it's it already we already have a, a sell signal for Into. So that's why I sold it already, right? So and uh, Fibonacci, Lodi, thanks for um, from Erickson, right? So I'll write this down. I already have a Fibonacci episode, po. Um, just search for it um, in my YouTube channel. Coach, pag my time pasili po sa General Motors Zynga. Thank you, Coach. Hope magaling na kayo. Um, yung isa, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, yung isa natanggal kasi yung bandage. But it's already okay. It's already dry. Uh, medyo may sugat pa. I don't know. Uh, it might be too gross for you guys to watch. So, I won't be opening the other one. Nat- natanggal no na tutbulog ako eh. Alright, so let's start the topic for today. And it's about MACD. Uh, let me just prepare my slide really quick. Uh, go full screen. Right, so MACD or moving average. And so moving average, convergence, divergence. That is what MACD means. M, uh, moving average, convergence, divergence. Right, so what is MACD? Ano ba ito? Right, uh, very important. Uh, it's an indicator that allows you to follow trend. So you will basically know the trend of a stock uh, using MACD. Right, alam mo kung... Um, kailan siya parang mag mag ano mag start ng trend or reversals very important kasi reversals we talked about reversals yesterday this is one way to spot reversals also meaning reversal meaning from uh, downward momentum pag nagmura na siya 
uh, MACD will help us say that there's um, the momentum is starting to go up. Same with RSI yesterday or topic yesterday for us is was about um, reversals. Um, pinaka paborito ko si RSI. MACD is also it also goes with RSI and MACD, right? Pwede po niyo pagsabayin ito. If you get those both signals, then this is good, right? Um, t- tells you reversal. Um, and the indicator that allows you to follow trend momentum by showing relationships between two moving averages. Dalawang moving averages ang ginagamit ni MACD. So, I will not go deep into these um, EMAs, uh, yung mga moving averages niya kasi no speed na po yan. I'm just gonna give you how to easily use MACD. Right? You don't have to go in depth of MACD. Uh, but basically, uh, yung ano niya, yung math niya dito is, uh, is calculated by subtracting the 26 period EMA from the 12 period EMA. So, dalawang linya yan. So, dalawang linya makikita nyo sa MACD. The result of that calculation is the MACD line. Right? So, this is how it looks like um, on a chart. Uh, let me open the chart uh, here. I I, prepare, I prepared the chart for you guys. So, let me go full screen. So, um, this is the normal chart. Ito na sa taas. And then, the bottom one is called the MACD. You can pull it up by uh, clicking on indicators and then search for MACD. M A C D and that should go up. That should go out. You don't have to change the settings unless you're a master of MACD and you use multiple time frames. But for me, position trading just use the defaults, especially in the international market. Um, ito kasi indicators that you see. Wait, uh, sorry, my dogs are um that uh, tripping the wire. Anyways, um, so in sa international market kasi, ito yung parang um. Ito yung parang uh, baseline of the MACD, the international markets, especially volatile ones, I mean, uh, very liquid markets. Uh, MACD tends to work better on these kinds of markets, right? So, it's very useful in the international market, especially. Sa Pilipinas kasi, uh, MACD is a lagging indicator, meaning uh, medyo delay yung galaw niya. And because um, our market tends to become very volatile, so it's medyo nahuhuli siya. Minsan nakakalipad na. Uh, kaka, kaka, kaka-indicate pa lang ng MACD. So, it's not really that reliable in the in the market, uh, in PSE actually, right? Uh, minsan, uh, most of the time, mas, mal, mas maraming mali in, in this kind of market. So, international market, you can use MACD definitely, okay? So, ito yung MACD dito sa baba and then you're gonna see two signals and just change the colors so that, ano, so that, uh, so that uh, you can see properly, okay? There is the blue line and there's the red line. Basically, and um and then there's the uh graph uh the at the at the back histogram it's it's an indicator also when there is uh uh divergence happening right so for example dito uh this is uh this is an important point whenever the blue the blue line crosses above the red line that is an indicator where the prices start to do a reversal so meaning possible na siya mag-reversal if that happens. And in the histogram, makikita niyo po dyan, yung mga red bars, ito yung nasa likod, uh, at the same point, um, from the bot uh, from the bottom line yung, ng MACD, pumunta sa taas. So, that is where, this is, these are the significant moments of trading uh, MACD. This is where it happens. Okay? So, if we look at this, right here, simple as this, yung signal niya, let me read this, Right? So, yung signals niya, dalawa. The MACD has a pos- positive signal uh, whenever the blue is above the red. So, meaning, pag nag-cross siya, that's the reversal signal. And then, while the blue is above, meaning positive yung signal niya, meaning there's a very high chance that the momentum is still gonna continue going up. The MACD has a negative value whenever the red naman is above the blue. So, here, uh, for example, uh, during this this moment right here, look at these uh, instances, na blue, the blue line is above the red line, then that means the, pri- the momentum is still going up, right? And then, whenever the red is above, instead, like this one, this instance right here, uh, this is an indicator that the m- m- momentum is going down right there, okay? So, pababa yung momentum natin dito. Alright, so, that is the signal. Now, the imp- the Im- the important signals that you are look gonna be looking for in MACD is these instances right here where divergences happen, right? So when the blue line crosses, I mean from a downtrend from where the red line is above and the blue is below, there will be an insta a point in the MACD lines 
where the blue crosses the red. And that is a reversal signal. It happened here and it happened also at this point. Okay? So, these are these are important ones. It happened also here and here. Pero ang pinaka-importante po dito, because this is, this is very low. Uh, moving averages, and especially for a good company, uh, the when the prices go low, the better it is. Diba? Um, we don't have RSI here, but if we include RSI, this will help us with the signals actually. Okay, um, I'll show you how it works with RSI later on. So, in a bit, pag-usapan po natin yan. One moment. Right, so... Um, here is the signal that we're looking for when the, whenever the blue line crosses the red line. So exactly on the, on the, the, on the, on the spot that they cross to each other, that is our signal. And look at what happened to the stock prices when that, uh, when that happened. Right? So after crossing, so this is a, an indicator na reversal is coming. It can reverse already. So traders basically um, enter here. Okay? And then there it is, tama si MACD, uh, it crossed right there, right? So that's a very, this is the signal that you're looking for in MACD. So if I pull up RSI, this should help, uh, this should work well with RSI, uh, no, not compare. Uh, let me open, uh, let me get RSI, relative strength index. Right, so I have a relative strength index here. So RSI during this points let's let's look at this right here let me let me draw a line so RSI right here pababa si uh, tumaba yung presyo but look at RSI we have divergences in RSI already right so remember this lesson that I gave you yesterday I use RSI for spotting reversals this coincides with MAC MACD right here so these bottoms are very are, are very good indicators that it's already gonna start and then we have a support right here to confirm that support and basically that is how you hit the, uh, that is how you hit the reversal okay you can you, you can use this with rsi please review my rev uh, video yesterday about spotting reversals because i focused on rsi yesterday um also um i have a separate rsi video so that you can understand about this more more specific puyon and then you can work this out with macd should you really want to use macd psei i don't use macd a lot. I'm gonna talk about the disadvantages of MACD in a bit, right? Um, so basically, that's what what MACD is. It is what uh, th that those are the signals that you are looking for. It happened also uh, at this point right here when it crossed, and then this is where it happened, right? And there it is. It it did go up. There are instances that MACD will give us a false signal. Let me close RSI again. Let me close our second. So here is a signal for MACD that it should go up, but instead it went further down. So this would have been an instant that you lost money. Okay, so so many factors affecting this. It's not a hundred percent foolproof, but usually most of the time that it happens, it is a gain. So we have some here. That's a gain right here. So it did go up after that. Uh, we have initial signal right here for MACD. But here, it fell down after, so that's a loss, right? But here, this is very important. MACD signals are here, and it did go up with that, right? So that's a very good, uh, that's a very good signal for MACD. Uh, another MACD signal here, would ha which would, would have been a win. And then another MACD signal here, right here. All right, sorry, right here. Then it should have been a win. So most of the time, it is good. Use it... Um, especially in blue chips and very good companies and use it if the market is healthy meaning we have a bullish market the market is going up there are investors getting in this is very uh, this uh, this tend to be more right if ever the market is healthy again go with the trend one of the one of the things that i always say um yung mga check marks ko before i want to trade is number 4 talaga sa check marks ko when i want to trade is uh, the market status is it a bullish market or is it a bearish market because if it is a bullish market then tendency is um, technical analysis like MACD works better so chances of winning are higher and that is very important in trading because there are instances that we will lose um, it's just that if the market is bearish you let you tend to lose more okay the indicators tend to fail more so if it's a bullish market, this is very useful, especially in the international market right now where it's very bullish. Uh, this is very useful out there. Okay, so this is um that is basically what MACD the signals we talked about the signals already. 
Okay, so limitations, I want to I wanna tell you the downside of MACD. MACD is a lagging indicator, meaning the signals can be a bit delayed. For example, like this one right here. So we have a MACD signal right here, which is crossing. It should be a buy. But during this point, uh, the prices are already already very high. We should we wouldn't be able to enter it here at the bottom um, if ever we waited for the MACD to cross. So this is the signal of MACD uh, during this time. We only have one bounce and there's no signal, there's no divergence in MACD during this point. So you won't be able to see it yet right here at this point. Diba? So wala pang signal. So when the signal happened, uy, uh, today uh, I'm going to look for companies uh, using MACD. Right, so, oi, MACD has already a signal right here. The blue line is already crossing the red line. The problem here is the prices are already very high. So, meaning that the signal came very late. Okay, so this can happen. It's a it's a lagging indicator. So, um, like the like the first one that I gave you, we have a signal here and we have a buy here. This one, this one, man, is much better. Uh, because we use it with other with supports and everything. So this is much better. Na una si MACD dito. There are instances na delayed siya. So sometimes it's already too late to enter before you see the ano, uh, when you see the the signal that we are looking for. So this can be a factor in MACD. So it's yan sa mga limitations niya. Another limitation is it, uh, it can often signal a possible reversal but then no actual reversal actually happens. It produces false positive. So like what I showed you earlier there are instances that MACD can fail, right? And so, especially in a bearish market like the BSEI right now, mas maraming instances na MACD will fail on you, right? Divergence doesn't forecast all reversals. Hindi niya ma forecast lahat, right? Just like other indicators naman, right? It's not 100%. It's just, uh, it, you can use it for, ano, you can use it for, uh, for reference in the future for MACD. Um, very good uh, it works well with RSI so if you like RSI and if you like to position trade you can use MACD also so when you see this signal already with uh, of MACD check out RSI if you have already uh, an oversold level of RSI meaning it's already very low below 20 for PSEI uh, for for international market I use 30 because the market is there is healthier and in PSEI kasi and daming false signals if you just use 30 in RSI. So if you hindi nyo maintindihan may RSI video po dyan. Uh, for 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 PSEI use 20, right? So if you use RSI with this one right here, it's uh, it's a much better uh, it's a much better combination to to lessen the false positives that you get of uh of ano of of RSI uh, of uh what they call this of divergence. For example, uh, of MACD uh, for example, this point right here, let's open RSI. Let's see if ever, ano ba ang sinasabi ni RSI during this point. RSI. Relative strength index. So at this point where we got a signal at this point, RSI indicators are still not on oversold level. So mahina pa siya. And then we don't have any divergences. So it's not a clear it's not a clear signal during this point of the MACD. So that's a false positive right there. Umakit siya ng konti but then still failed. But here during this MACD signal, so we have another signal. Now we check it with RSI. We have divergences, momentum and RSI is going up. So this is a much better position right here. So this is where we position, we enter the supports and then there it is. That would have been a very big win for you guys. So work work it out with RSI. If you don't know what RSI is yet, Please check the video description. There is an RSI, uh, what do you call this? There is an RSI link there. So basically, that is our topic for MACD. It's one of the easiest. If it's one of the easiest indicators to use. Kaya hindi kaya na huli, medyo na huli ako sa paggawa nito kasi sobrang easy nito. Um, and dami yung references na makikita in the uh, in YouTube of about MACD already. But still. Uh, hopefully this is this has been an informative video for you guys please send me a message i mean uh, please post a question if you have any because we're gonna go to the questions now um air plata cloak coach sa, uh, congrats sa atin sumabay ako sa lift mo congratulations lift was a very big win for us um let's see nga let's let's uh, well, uh, let's apply macd sa lift when i when we recommended lift right so i recommended lift uh a couple of weeks ago all right, so uh, recommended lift on a breakout breakout strategy. Now you lift, then it did go up. 
for how many percentage um hindi siya breakout kasi so walang walang MACD but we have MACD signals here uh this would have been a challenging MACD wala tayong RSI indicators but here right so we have MACD signals here 1 2 3 I mean no sorry two signals for MACD right so first MACD signal RSI was already good. You could have bought this. Then, mapapakatlos kayo. But that's okay. On the second MACD cross though, you are gonna see that there's a very clear divergence here with RSI. RSI is still uh, very good, but look at the divergences. It, it crossed here and it crossed here. But this crossing is much higher than the previous one. So, um, our our divergence with RSI is indicating uh, is indicating that this is a very good signal for 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 a buy already. So you could test this again here. So if you have lost around five percent here, na bawi naman sa gains mo dito. So sobrang laki ng gains dyan. So for a stock that has hit RSI low levels already, take two. It took two to really hit the bottom. That's still very good because your wins here much, should have been much bigger than the losses on the previous signal. So that's still okay in the international market. So here, MACD should be, could, ha, could have been very useful for us if ever we traded with MACD here. Marim, sir, pa check po in international market. Uh, CGC, Roku, Jamie, I'll write these down. Check ko muna, guys, if ever my question about the topic for today. So RLT. Right. Uh, good morning to everyone. May bagong balita ba ang isda by Lloyd? Alright, so um, we have been deploying for this week. I'm just waiting for the updates for for the past uh, for the past ano, ano, for the past um, batches. So abangan nyo po. May mga updates tayo. Marlo Baroro, maayong buntag Sir Lloyd. Pa-attendance lang. Good morning Marlo. Ja ju Jungle Kicks PH. Hi Coach. Insights for ISM due to high volume yesterday. Thank you. Yes. We, I, that's, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Laki ng volume ng buying ni ISM kahapon. So that's, uh, that's already very good. Actually, napakamura na ni ISM. I uh, think about it. You bought it even ma cheaper than Mr. Dennis Uy. So, actually, it's already on the sale right now. Nestor Kino, OSTK insights later, please. Alright, let's cover these later. Type no lang muna, ha? Okay. Nestor, what's your RSI, Sir Lloyd? 14 or 20? I use 20 for PSEI and then 30 for the international market by default. Okay? Um, and, um, Beyond Insights update, please. Right, this is from Nestor Aquino. Uh, let's check out Beyond later. BYND. So, Beyond Meat. We had a very big win for Beyond Meat. Right? Um, before Beyond Meat. And beyond meat, let's see if ever. Uh, ayon. So here, we I will I I recommended beyond meat at around this level na right dito na di ba? When when Bollinger Band was really constricted already, that was when the moment when I recommended beyond meat. MACD gave us a signal here, so you signal niya and dito. You if you entered during the MACD signal. Medyo matagal pa. But overall, is it was a win. Diba? Natulog lang. Right? So, lagging indicator. Um, no, in this case, hindi siya lagging indicator. Nauna siya before the momentum really started. So, MACD would have been very helpful in, in Beyond Meat win also. Okay? From after this downtrend, you have a you have a buy signal for MACD. You have a support right here. And then, this is backed up by Bollinger Band signals. Like, uh, like the one I've been teaching you. So, ang daming buy signals natin ngayon. So, that would have been a very big win. So, MACD could have been uh, helpful in this also. So, MACD right now is giving us um, negative uh, patterns. So, I don't want to recommend beyond. Uh, sabi sa inyo, di ba, negative ang signals ni, ni, ni MACD if red is above. So, red is above MACD right now. And then, we are seeing lower highs from the previous ones. So, I think tapos na upturn niya. Sobrang hinug na kasi ni Beyond Meat. This, is, this was already an 88% gain. So, huwag niyo na po habulin. Uh, let's wait for it to make another good position. We have mixed signals right now. In trading, if you have mixed signals, consider it as a no na lang. If ever nagdadalong isip kayo sa signals. Parang love lang yan. If you're getting mixed signals from your partners, consider it as a no. <laughs> Malapit ang si Valentine's. Um, Benji Onabia, good morning. Sir Lloyd, uh, I learned a lot from your tutorial yesterday. Maraming salamat po. You're welcome. Yesterday was a very good episode. So if you haven't watched the episode yesterday, please do watch it. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and 
um, share this video. Share this to your Facebook walls, to your groups, your trading groups if you have any, so that newbies um, like you will know about this and will be guided accordingly. Nelson Panaligan, Sir Lloyd, good morning. Ano po indicator na sinasama niyo sa MACD? If I use MACD, RSI, ayan po ang ano ko. Um, RSI, MACD, uh, I look at RSI if ever uh, buy na tayo kay RSI and MACD is also an indicator right there. Yan po. Uh, that's already a conviction for me and I just wait for the supports and then pag nag-support na siya, then I will enter. Or if it does a breakout, if ever sideways man siya. And MACD is already doing well. Like this one right here, si Beyond Meat. Um, sideways siya. Uh, MACD is already a buy. RSI is already a buy for me. So I would have waited for a breakout here and then there it is. Nag-breakout si Beyond, you should have been able to enter that. So if it's on a sideways pattern, breakout would be good, especially if very, uh, very, like this case right here, na very, uh, napakaliit lang ng galaw niya, and there's a very near resistance, just wait for the breakout, and that should be already very good. Uh, thank you for lift, sir. 69% profit from Nestor Aquino. You're welcome. Congratulations. Pa-burger ka naman, <laughs> Nestor. Have a day. Good morning, Sir Lloyd uh, fra from Macau Insights. Alright, so I think we're, um, tapos na tayo sa topic natin about MACD. Um, if you have any further questions na hindi nyo nat natanong today, just post in the comments. I'll try my best to answer you guys. Okay. Um, Hafa Adai, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Macau. Insights for Tech, JFC, MPI, Meg. Salamat po. Alright, uh, I'll write these down. Alright, may request kanina about uh, Fibonacci. Fibonacci, I already have a video about Fibonacci. Please check it out. Uh, search nyo po sa ano natin. Ay, andyan po sa video description, may Fibonacci po dyan. Right? Just check the link and then you should be able to ano, um, uh, tawag nyo to? Uh, you should be able to see it in the video description. Click nyo lang yan and then diretso na kayo dyan. At yun lang, ganda earnings ni Lyft pero bagsak siya after market. That's okay because it's about time to take profits kay Lyft. Yes, magandang earnings niya. So let's just, that's uh, that's a, uh, this is a good, I mean not a good signal right now. Pero, um, this is good if lift will do, uh, go back down at mag-stabilize mag around that area because I'm gonna be buying lift whenever that happens. So, nag-aabang lang ako. Nasa watchlist ko ulit yun. Ay, si Bian pala to. Si lift, L-Y-F-T. Maganda yan if bumagsak. Kasi, we are gonna be waiting for another position for lift. Ako, binenta ko na kahapon si lift ko. Was that kahapon or the other day? Diba? The other day, when this, uh, the, this green happened, um, for me, that was already very high. So, I already sold my lift that a day before. Kahapon, binenta ko si uh, Intu ko. Um, this is a sell signal. Basically, you saw a red yesterday. So, that's a sell signal. You should have sold your lift already. Sell half of it at the very least. I think mag-uptrend pa ito. Napakamura pa ni lift. I'm just waiting for the next swing. Hopefully, makaposition na naman ako. Uh, but I'm just protecting my gains right now because iba na strategy ko ngayon. I'm trying to look for a good strategy for being a popular investor, meaning fund management. So, mas, mas pihikan ako ngayon sa gains. Uh, every gain right now is very important to me because um, gain rin, uh, maraming nakasab nakikisabay sa akin. Right? Unlike na noong hindi ako nag, nag, ano, nagpapakapit trade, I can go aggressive. Iba pala pag, na, pag fund manager ka na, you ha dapat pihikan ka sa gains mo. So, it's a new adventure, it's a new it's a new path for me being a popular investor. So, and um still learning along the way and I'm sharing my experience to you guys. Hopefully in the future pag magaling na kayo mag-trade, please do magpa-copy po kayo. I will help you advertise your chan uh, your, your 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 profile if I see that you are doing well. Why not? Gustong-gusto ko po na may Pinoy talaga na magaling mag-trade who focuses on trading. Na pwede natin i-share because we can be proud of that. Okay? Uh, Lawrence Basilio, good morning po, Sir Lloyd, Pasilip WFC, WFC, and Disney. Alright, this down. Abusin ko lang ang mga requests, and then daanan natin sa isang, isang bagsak. Archie ZC, good morning, Coach. Morning, then Markle Cemento. Morning, Sir. Insights kay Fruit. Thanks, God bless. Thanks, tignan natin si Fruit. Uh, fruit. Sir, CMSA po, nakasabi rin ako ay lift, pero virtual lang. Sayang naman if virtual lang. But anyways, if you're still learning, then that's still good, diba? Uh, CMCSA, si Comcast. I'll write this down. Tadaanan natin to. Na, hindi pa ba na-request yan? Hindi pa. Right. Um, may pag-asa pa ba umangat si PHA? 
um, from Enrico Costuna, right? Um, that's a wrong question in stock market, right? Came out negative, pero I will tell you honestly, you don't you don't view the market. That way, may pag-asa pa mong umakyat ganito ganyan. Kasi yes, may pag-asa pang umakyat yan. May pag-asa, may, pa, may chance din na babagsak pa yan. So, wag po kayong umasa. Let the charts do the talking. Right now, the company is doing well. I, that's one of my recommendations before. Uh, nakasabay ako niyan actually sa paglipad niya. And then I sold everything at the top. So, I was a very, at a very big gain kay PHA. Bumagsak siya uh, because of the speculation na nawala. Right now, yung levels ni PHA is very good. I would have been recommending it again. It's just that I am not recommending in the PSE right now because PSE is very hard to trade. Mahirap po i-trade niya yun. Ang pinakamagandang gawin kay, PH, uh, kay, kay PSEI right now is go long term, good for look for good companies na nasa baba and yun po ang bilhin ninyo. PHA, yes, may pag-asya sa yung magkiat, pero with the market looking bad, so pwede pang bumaba yan. So konti ingat lang. Right, Orlando ta Tanyan, morning morning sir, ano po magandang support ng Bollinger Bands? Ano po magandang support ng Bollinger Bands? Actually, you can use Bollinger Bands as your support. I'm not sure the, about your question. Um, yung supports kasi, well, hindi talaga si Bollinger Bands ang support. Ang support is the prices saan siya nag, nagbabounce and then that is your support. And if it's inside the Bollinger Bands, then that is good because hindi wala siyang momentum sa pagbaba kasi if it starts touching the lower bollinger band meaning mas mabigat mabigat na siya right good morning sir lloyd okay po ba mag-trade like sa stocks ni Warren Buffett like Data Airlines yes if Warren Buffett is into that stock then that means he knows that the company is good Warren Buffett has the what do you call this Warren Buffett has the um uh, resources to research companies. For example, dito si Warren. Ito ang gandaan kay Itoro, guys. For example, gusto nyong matingnan anong nasa loob ng portfolio ni Mr. Warren Buffett, you can do that. So, uy, tindi. His already gains for uh, February is already 3.14%. So, good gains for Mr. Warren Buffett. But, this is the important part. Look at the portfolio right here. And then, look, click on view all. So, you are gonna see all the companies Mr. Warren Buffett is invested in so if you are if you're going to ask me sir lloyd ano bang magandang um pa, uh, i-monitor ng mga companies look at what mr warren buffett is invested in because if he's invested in these companies then he knows that these companies are good and if it's still holding it then he still knows these companies are good so start with this tingnan niyo po mga companies na nito if he's in it then you should be looking at that company also right follow the good uh, the great investors Look at uh, Mr. Warren Buffett's earnings last year. 33% earning last year. The year before that, negative siya. Pero nabawi naman ka uh, last year. 33.5% for last year. Very good uh, very good investor right here. So, if he's looking at these companies, he should be looking at these companies also. So, Mr. Warren Buffett is into Data Airline. So, you should be looking at that also. Pwede pong i-invest yan dyan, Right? Right? Na may Data Airline ba siya overall? View all. Not sure. Let me search for data airline. Control F data airline. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, sa si Delta Airlines, not data. Dal, ayan, Delta Airlines, wala. So De Delta Airlines is here, right here. So yes. That's good. Melon G.J. Sir, mga anong oras po magandang pumasok sa international market? Mga what time po kayo nag-enter usually? Thank you. I just enter right away. Usually, ang ginagawa ko is um, nagpe-pending order ako. Meaning, kahit hindi ko po mapanood ng market, I enter right away. Kung may buy signal na ako, whatever the price is, I just enter. Uh, hindi, hindi ko na kasi papanoodin ng market. So, wala po siyang oras actually. Arfi, good morning. Ay, si Arfi is here. Uh, Arfi1976. Speaking of Arfi, before tayo magsimula sa mga charting, Right, I want to plug this out. Guys, if you want to follow Arfi, please do. He is, uh, he is the winner of uh, the eToro trading competition in Asia last December. mind whopping, mind boggling 500% po. Almost 500% ang gains niya December. January is up almost 300%. So, galing. He's, he traded gold. He's uh, more, more into fundamentals and gold. Uh, his theory was... To start again and focus on one asset. So, he focused on gold. Ang kagandahan po niyan is because mamamaster niyo po ang mga um, factors that affects one asset. Kay gold, anong mga news, 
uh, nakaka-affect kay gold. Uh, what are the factors that can affect gold? And if you focus on that, um, you tend to master it. So Arfe was able to hone that, those skills uh, for December and January. Your results now were very high. Uh, February, uh, we're expecting siguro not that much of gains for February kasi nag-peak na si gold. So most probably it's gonna stop its growth. So hopefully, Arfe, your, your, your February performance is good. But I'm not expecting that much for February when it comes to gold. Unless you're day trading it, pwede niyo po short Kasi nagsa sideways na si gold ngayon, hindi na nagra-rally. So during the rally, RFE was able to cash the rally. Right? So that was the instance. Hindi niyo naman po expect na every month ganun po. So RFE is more fundamentalist. So he positions himself before the rally happens. So it can still go down. This and that. So that is uh, what I saw in RFE strategy, which is still uh, overall, you saw the results is profitable. Okay? Please follow RFI. May Facebook page po siya, RFI E-Trading Hub. Um, we have, we will have a seminar with, webinar with RFI. Um, this March 7, and po, uh, Billionaire's Club, this is the, ano, this is the poster that I posted. Sorry, yung mukha ko tuloy yung lumabas. <laughs> Nag-change kasi whenever I click the, ano. So this is the poster I posted for uh, for the webinar is gonna be on March 7, 2020, Saturday, 8 p.m. po yan. Um, with me and Arfi Gabilianes, uh, we are gonna be talking about uh, gold, how he is trading gold, right? So please follow his page also. Uh, let me open his page. I, I'm following it. I'm just gonna search for it, Arfi. Arfi E-Trading Hub. Oh, sorry. Arfi E-Trading Hub. Arfi e-trading hub. Let me get the link and then post it in the comments. He is posting, uh, what you call this, he is posting uh, his references here, some of his references. Um, negative 13 siya for February but again, that's expected. Uh, it's it's a, it's a low volatility period for for gold. But that's okay. Um, and dami niya reference dito kay gold. So I want you to master gold. Gusto niyo po mag day trading, matuto mag day trading. I want you to trade gold learn about gold right so let me get the link and then post it to the ano, uh, post it to the chat natin so please follow him and so galing 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 so wag niyo pong i-miss yung ano yung opportunity for the webinar it's a free webinar by me and Arfi please ano please do join it all you need to do is create an eToro account using my link and po yung uh, and po yung description jan right so, and then share this event. Please do share this event also uh, to your trading groups, to your Facebook walls. Para yung mga kaibigan ninyo, matuto rin sila. Alright? They'll, they'll know about this. Yung mga newbies at trading groups ninyo, if you have other trading groups aside from the Billionaires Club, please share this. Ano, this is public. This is free for everyone. Wala po kayong babayaran dito. Right? Kami na po ni RFI ang bahala sa inyo. Right? So, please join that. Okay, let's let's go to the charting now. Arfi, you have anything to say? Please do post it in the comments. Um, yeah, and Snapchat charting na tayo guys ha. Let me open um, the chart really quick. Uh, Iload ko lang si chart layout ko ulit to reset everything. All right, so PSEI um pullback yesterday seven four. 3.9 si market ngayon. So, it's a, still a gain overall kahit pula siya. Uh, but, volume is still very low. Net foreign is selling yesterday. So, um, maliit pa rin ang pera pumapasok sa PSEI. So, it's, it's very hard. Snapchat. Snapchat all on the floor. Snapchat. Ano ba yung code ni Snapchat? Teka lang ha. Hindi ko ma-memorize kasi sobrang dami ng ano sa international market. Snap, 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 snap. Ayan, snap nga pala. Snap lang. So, tama pala yung tinignan ko. Snap Incorporated. Ayun. So, Snapchat. Downturn po ang pinapakita sa atin. We're seeing lower highs um, for Snapchat right now. Um, lesson learned na ako kay ano, kay, kay ano, lesson learned na ako sa international market tsaka trading against the trend, yung overall trend ng market, it's a bullish market. So, um, kahit na, kahit na may sell signal dito, ayoko mo muna mag-short sell. Mamaya na ako mag-short sell kung 
bearish na ang market. I went against the trade. So, napaso ako uh, January. You saw my results for January. Nag-negative ako because of some aggressive entries for shorting. Shorting na hat nakasunog sa akin. Tingnan nyo ha. Yung performance ko. <laughs> uh, let me go to my portfolio. History. So, ang sell natin is negative right here. So, napakatlos ako dyan. Nag-short sell ako kay Apple. Napakatlos ako. Nag-short sell ako kay Tesla. Napakatlos ako. Take for 5%. So, that is that caused the negative for January. Like, once again, the overall market trend, which is bad. <laughs> Kahit na may short selling signal. I'm, 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 I'm trying to adjust kasi sa international market. I haven't experienced short selling yet. Yan, lesson learned ko. Very, very important lesson for January is never go against the market trend. Huwag mag-short sell kung bullish naman ang market. Kasi maliit lang yung mga pullbacks. Nagre-recover ka agad yung mga stocks. <laughs> right. Anyways, 1% lang. That, that's a uh, enrollment fees ko na yun. Right? Um, Snapchat. Um, mukhang pababa pa si Snapchat. So, stay away from it for now. Let's see if it will stabilize soon. Pero, ang laki ng pula niya. So, I don't want to recommend that for now. Snapchat, Ani. Uh, si Ani, downtrend pa po si Ani. So, kung ingat lang muna. Uh, it, it did give us a very good signal for RSI. But, these are tend ang tendency po nito are, ano po eh, um, false signals po ang mga ganito kasi Bakit? Um, because of the sharp drop, these kinds of drop tend to give you uh, false signals to RSI. So, we have false signals for RSI for now. Uh, RSI, Ani, good company naman. Let's see if Ani will ano, will stabilize and then give us a support. Sobrang ganda ng press position ngayon ni Ani. Mura na. For very good company. We'll wait for Ani to stabilize at the very least before considering buying it. It's too aggressive to enter right now. MB, uh, si Manila Bulletin, one of the biggest winners yesterday, I believe so, uh, the other day pala. Um, pullback na siya. I don't see any reason bakit um, MB should go up, but there's volume in MB uh, last, uh, last, uh, la the past two trading days. So, this is starting to do a pullback. Antayin natin saan siya magbabounce. Let's try to fibo this. I usually use Fibonacci for these kinds of, ano, for this kind of, sorry, for this kind of Asin yung Fibo? Naulit ba? Ayun, nanti pa. Sorry. Fibo, Fibo, Fibo. Fibo retracement. So, the trend started here. So, it's doing pullback. Mm. Ano kagad eh? Tumagos kagad sa 0.5 yung pullback niya eh. So, sobrang lakas na kasi nito. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. If ever mag-bounce na siya, then that will be good. Pwede nyo pong i-ano. Antay nyo po. I, I, I really don't like these kinds of movements because it's very volatile, especially in this kind of market na manipis lang market natin. Tapos ka agad yung uptrend, natatapos ka agad. So, if ever, gusto nyo any bounce soon, pwede nyo po sakyan. It's very volatile, so it can still go up. Uh, we'll see. If ever mag-bounce yan, use that as your support. Excuse me. <clears throat> it might bounce today. ISM. Let's talk about ISM. I saw a very good signal for ISM yesterday, but it's just a volume signal. Ganda ng buying ni ISM kahapon. Green siya with a very good volume kasing, ha, kasing taas ng volume na nung selling ng last. So, this is an indi indicator na may bumibili kay ISM. Actually, yun nga lang, mas kon konti lang ang mga bumibili kumpara sa mga nagbebenta. Right, ang daming nagbebenta, siguro na inip in this kind of market. So, they're selling right there. But, this should tell you that there is buying. And actually, it's very cheap right now, I tell you. Sobrang mura ni ISM. Um, Mr. Dennis bought ISM for 3 pesos a share. And then, it's right now, it's at 2.23. So, basically, you're still buying it at a, at a very cheap price. Um, tulad ni ano? Tulad ni, what do you call this? Um... Ano yun eh? Si Popey dati is now ACEPH. No, no, not ACEPH. Um, ano nga ba yung ano? Ano nga yun si Popey? Nawawala sa isip ko eh. But yeah, Popey, the reason why I recommended Popey before was because 
ang presyo niya napakamura na compared to how much Ayala bought Popey. So, I kept telling na uh, ilong nyo yan and then there it is, umakyat si Popey noon. So, basically, that's what I'm using here right now. It's just that market is really down. Um, and then, uh, ISM, speculative. So, please, wag po kayo mag all in dyan. Please, wag po, wag po. Right? Correct dyan, Sir Lord. Nabayan, nasabayan ko sa yan, short, uh, short sell sa bullish market. Doon ako may pula. Anyways, positive on profits naman for Feb din. 2% profits as of writing. Thank you. Uh, thanks to your daily grind. You're welcome, Paul. That's a very important lesson for me, guys. And I'm sharing to you my journey in learning the international market. I'm still a newbie in the international market. But hopefully, we do well. Somehow, positive naman tayo overall. RLT. RLT. Let's check out RLT. Right, um, ano, Nestor, pag magaling ka na, magpa-copy ka na rin, ha? Right. So, RLT, uy, supports for RLT. This is looking good for RLT, ha? Okay naman siya. Wala lang volume, pero yung last volume niya nangyari on a very good rally for RLT. We are now playing at the supports level. So, yeah, you can you can test out RLT here at the support. This is a very good support for you guys. Mas matas na yung momentum niya on those supports. So, that's a very good indicator. Right there. Yeah. RLT is a good buy. Right, low risk, uh, low risk right now. Pwede nyo pong tingnan yan. This is a very good company right here. CGC. CGC is uh, Canopy Growth Corporation. So, international market. Uh, why is there a, ano, why is there a gap down? Right, massive gap down for, ano, massive gap down for CGC. So, very volatile. Andito siya ang, andito yung gap, andito yung price niya ngayon. I want to see bakit ano nang nangyari dito. So this this is a false signal right here. Kahit na maganda yung RSI niya. That that's a false signal because of the massive drop. Um no, I don't want to buy this yet. I want to know bakit what caused the gap down. Especially pag may sell off pangit yun eh. So please do check it out and let's see in the future pag maganda wala namang bad news or anything. Let's see if it will stabilize. But for now, this is something that you need to look at na bakit siya bumagsak nang ganyan. Uh, Nestor Aquino, uh, Aral Pamor, Sir Lloyd, thanks, thank you again. You're welcome. Yes po, wag po tumingil sa pag-aral. The, the reason why I wanted to really cover, uh, I, I really wanna partner up with, ano, with Arfi Gabellianis is because, uh, I don't know if nakapublic yung ano niya ngayon, Lanipay. Lanipay, yun, nakapublic 1972. Lanipay, statistics niya for, for, ano, uh, uh, for February, negative 78, but that's okay. Um, 293 naman siya for, ano, for, for January. Anyways, um, look at his performance before. This is why I really want to cover him because yung learning process niya before winning 400%. So, never give up, right? He told me before, um, he, he, he trusted his, ano, his, he trusted his guts. Medyo delayed lang lumabas yung results ng, ng research niya. But he trusted his guts. Hindi siya na give up. Um, and then keep fight, kept fighting, and then look for ways to learn better and focus more, and then did, did the reset, and he was able to gain this much. So sobrang bawe ng linagay niyang pera dito. And I want to share his ano his journey with you guys. So sobrang ganda po ng ano, sobrang ganda po ng ng kita uh, ni, ng story niya. So don't give up. Uh, keep learning. Keep learning. Right. Next kaninas is Roku. Next kay CGC Roku. Right, Roku Incorporated. Right, Roku Inc. Wait, gap up, breakout. This is good. We have a down, small downtrend right here. And then we have a breakout right there. So we are now seeing higher highs for Roku. Okay, this is good. This is good for Roku. Um, stat nasa taas siya ngayon. I think it's gonna pull back. But if it does a pull back and then gives us a bounce, then that will be a good entry for Roku. Actually, kaka-breakout niya lang eh. Right here. I'd say, yeah. Um, Roku is a buy for me. I would say, yes. Um, maganda na indicators niya. We have uh, higher lows right here. We have a breakout right there. Roku is a buy. Good find. Uh, I, I am not sure kung sino nag-request ito kanina. Uh, but yeah, this is a good find for you, Roku. Mukhang magsisimula na itong mag umakyat. Ah. There's a very good reversal pattern right here. Okay, so Roku is good. And then, Jamia... Um, ng company to. I'm really sure. Jumia Technologies. Alright. So guys, please do ano, please do 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 your due diligence about the company. Okay. Um, I'm talking about 
um, te- more most on technicals right now because these companies I haven't researched. So if this is a good company, if nakita niyo po na maganda itong company na ito, RSI's are looking well. We have a s- massive support right here. Yeah, this is good. Jamia has a very uh, just confirmed confirmed the support. This is a, this would have this would be a buy. Let me let me let's check out Jamia. Fundamentals. Tignan natin ang fundamentals na sinasabi ng mga tao. How do you check for fundamentals? Go for the stock here in Itoro and then click on research. And then research. And then makita nyo po dito. Ano, uy, 7% yung um, ano niya. Right, so current price is 565. Tar- target price ng mga analysts is 10.88. This is a this is an upside. Right? Um, mas malaki ang buying. There are people say it, selling it. Um, check out bakit niya sinisell basahin niyo po dito ang mga articles nila uh, these articles are gonna be very helpful for you guys and then you can click on view all mas marami this will help your ano this will help your uh, matagal niya article niya eh March, may, uh, may, uh, ano pa ito eh? ah December 5 right December 5 ito so please check it out ano yung article niya about but the projection is around 10.88 so there's still 50% upside here right malaki pa ang gains at 100% upside pa maganda ito So check this out, um, Jamia supports right there. Maganda to, right? Um, that's a that's a good position right here for JP Jamia. Uh, OSTK. Time check is nine twenty Time check is brought to you by <laughs> OSTK. All right, um, OSTK. Make signals tayo kay OSTK. We do have a support right here. At least man lang kung mag-support siya, pasukin nyo po. Doon po sa support. Nasa gitna tayo ng support and resistance. Breakout or support entry is the best entry for uh, OSTK. Uh, technically speaking lang ha. Beyond Meat. Uh, we talked about Beyond Meat kanina. Uh, Beyond Meat, sobrang hinug na noon. Uh, we're getting mixed signals now. I don't want to recommend it anymore. Sobrang taas ng ginalaw niya. Um, for me, that was already a target. That's already target profit. So I don't wanna chase that up there. Kung bumaba yan ulit si Beyond Meat sa support, then uh, definitely buy it. Ayoko na dyan sa taas. Right, tech. Right, tech naman. PSEI, we have a mixed signal right here. We have a triangle pattern for tech. Let's see if mag-breakout yan. A breakout from tech will be a very good, ano, will be a very good entry kung gusto nyo pong pasukin si tech dito. So, nagko-consolidate na si Tech. Hindi naman siya nag-bearish talaga. Uh, buying is still there. It's just that it's a mix of both bullish and bearish signals. So, with this, ang indicator po natin is a breakout. That's a confirmation. Kung gusto nyo pasukin si, break, uh, si, uh, si Tech, then wait, wait for the breakout. That's your confirmation. Aggressive entry will be the MA20 as your support. Uh, JFC, Jollibee. Alright, so, yeah, tingnan natin. Uy, si Baba nga pala, nag-release ng earnings. So, kamusta kaya si Baba? Uy, mix signals pa rin si Baba eh. Sideways na si Baba. I don't wanna recommend this, this anymore. Sobrang taas na kasi ni Baba. Nag-all-time high yan just recently eh. Diba? Sobrang taas na ni Baba. I cannot recommend it anymore. Um, JFC, si Jollibee, Mida, ang saya. Alright, Jollibee still supports. Back, back, back to supports na naman tayo kay Jollibee. Um, you see this rounded thing right here? And then there's a support right there. Pag nag-breakout yan, that will be a very good entry for Jollibee. This is a good um, long-term entry. I'll st- st- I still recommend Jollibee for long-term. Um, si, si, uh, dami na tatakot kay Shake dahil binili na si Shake Shack. Uh, if you check out Shake Shack in, in the international market, it's starting to rally already. So, this should help Jollibee, actually. Okay? So, nagra-rally na upside si Shake Shack. So, mahila yan ang earnings ni Jollibee. Paakit din yan. Okay. So, GFC, um, long-term entry is already giving us a very good entry points for, for long-term entries. Okay? So, pwede nang bilhin yon. MPI, mukhang, mukhang babalik na naman sa support si MPI. Eh. So, abang lang tayo kay MPI muna. Um, ang dami pang bad news kasi. Um, tinitira pa si Mr. Manny Pangilinan kaya naapektahan yung mga companies niya. So, MPI cannot recommend MPI for now. I hate companies na maingay ngayon. Right? So, stay away from them. Meg naman. Meg is divergence. We have a support right here. Pag nag-bounce si Meg sa support, then yes, definitely a buy. 
At the very least, meron tayong sideways trend right here. So, buy here and sell here. That's a gain for you guys. Meg, next kay Meg WFC, Wells Fargo. Right, Wells Fargo. Okay yung galaw ni Wells Fargo eh. Hmm. This is tricky, but at the very least, meron tayong support dito kung gusto nyo papasukin sa Wells Fargo. Get in your support. Meron kayong at least exit plans, okay? Uh, for, for Wells Fargo. Meron sa Disney, Disney request, Disney. Ay, ito. Hindi pala, hindi Shake Shack. Smash Burgers pala yan. Right? So, sorry about that. Na mix yung ano ko. So, thanks for the correction, Anilin. So, please cancel my comments. Smash Burger pala yung, ano, hindi pala si Shake Shack. Okay. Nestor Aquino, nag-release na ba, na, na ba ang baba ng financial report? Ito tomorrow pa on the calendar ito. Rosalind. Ah, okay. Tomorrow pa. Kaya pala hindi pa gumagalaw si baba. I think baba is gonna be uh, is gonna be releasing good numbers. So, it, prepare for volatility. Gambling siya ngayon. Right? Let's check out baba. Thank you for this information. Bukas pa pala. Kala ko nag-release ni. Let me not check the calendar. Anyways, pag nag-release ito, expect volatility. Um, kaka... Kakalabas lang, katapos lang ng November na ano, yung 11-11, their biggest ano, uh, their big, biggest online sale which broke records, ang laki ng earnings nila noon. Um, December also, with the, uh, Christmas, so we're expecting uh, very big earnings from for BABA. Uh, if it releases, then that should make the stocks volatile. right If ever... Pwede nyo i-gamble ito. Just, just, just look for a cut loss kasi ang laki ng upside. Eh. Pwede ito mag-volatile. Hopefully, nakapasok kayo. Okay? For Baba. This is, that's a very good, ano. Hindi natin napag-usapan ito. <clears throat> Alright. Rinji Pantoa. Sir, hi, Sir Lloyd. Morning, please accept my re re request to join your masterclass. Yes, send me a message. Kung gusto nyo pa mag-join ng masterclass, send me a message. Mandiyo na busy lang ako for preparation. I have very important visitors right now. Yung may papunta, pa, magre-reunion kasi yung family namin. Uh, my relatives from states just arrived. Wala pa akong tulog. So, I fetched them on the airport. So, kulang yung tulog ko. So, I'll do my best to answer everyone. No worry. If ever maka-access kayo sa webinar ni Miss RB Necessito and me, you can also access the webinar for uh, me uh, with me and uh, Mr. Arfe Gavillanes. So, both po yan. Sobrang bonus po sa inyo yan. You can join the webinar with Mr. Arfe and bonus po, you can still access the webinar with RB. I'm just asking for your patience. Medyo busy ako this week. Uh, baka matagalan ako sa pagsagot sa inyo, especially tatanggalin po yung ano ko ngayon, yung, yung mga tahi ko ngayon. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'll do my best to answer you guys. Don't worry. Mga kapasok mo kayo. Um, it's already 9.30. May pending order ka na kayo. For Baba, right? That's very good. NVIDIA will release also, Sir Lloyd. Dapat pinasok nyo, Nestor, dapat pinasok mo na lang si Baba. Baba kasi baka po mag-gap up. Pag nag-gap up kasi yan, um, dun ka makapasok sa taas. So, yung current price ang pasukin mo, just set a stop loss just in case na bumaba siya. Right? Mga pag-stop loss kayo. Right? So, that's it for today. Pasensya na if hindi ko mababasa lahat. Um, I still have a very busy day ahead of me. I'll do my best to answer you guys. Send me a message on my Facebook page, Financial Freedom 101. Follow it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for today. I hope marami pa kayo natutunan ulit today. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's get rich together. Bye, everyone.